Welcome back to my channel. I'm Derek and this is Derek React. And today we're reacting to another Wanting Entertainment animation. It's called The True Story of My Haunted House or something like that. The link for the original video will be down in the description below. So let's begin. True Horror Story of My Haunted House animated. This happened when I was around seven years old. My parents have been divorced since I was four, and I stayed with my mom. Three years later, when my mom got married again, we moved out of our small apartment and rented a bigger one. It was pretty nice. It had a huge living room that was connected to a kitchen with no doors. It's a penthouse. So I could see the inside of the kitchen while I was sitting in the living room. As we were about to spend our first night in the new apartment, I decided to stay in the living room alone and watch some TV before going to bed. One or two hours later, I finally got tired and began dozing off. However, as soon as I began to fall asleep, I started hearing noises coming from the kitchen. It sounded as if the cabinets were opening, mm -hmm. the plates were being moved around, and knives were being sharpened. At first, I thought that my mom was in the kitchen, but when I opened my eyes and turned around, Nobody there was no there. one there. Of course. I even got up and went to the kitchen, and as I turned on the light, everything was in its place. For once, somebody turned on the goddamn light. Like, every horror movie or some shit, they don't <laughs> ever cut on the goddamn light. I don't get it. So, I tried go going back to sleep. But after all that, I kept waking up due to several nightmares. Sometimes, I would even beg my stepdad to stay with me until I fell asleep. But he didn't hear any noises coming from the kitchen, and didn't take me too seriously. Well, this went on until we started smelling something weird inside the living room. It wasn't as bad at first, but as the days went by, the stench got worse. It smelled as if something was rotting. We turned the whole house upside down the trying to body. find the source of it. Until we realized the it was coming from the wall. We figured that a rat or something died inside the wall. So we hired someone to get that thing out of there. But what the guy told us was shocking. There was no space in the wall. It was all brick. Furthermore, the only thing that was behind the wall was the outside. Oh, wow. At that moment, my parents remembered the noises I heard and the nightmares. They asked a priest to come visit us and pray for the house. So when he arrived at our house, he prayed and sprayed some holy water around, but it didn't seem to do anything. A few weeks later, my mom went into labor and had my baby brother. I bet you I moved. He would cry so much in his sleep that his face would often turn blue and red. Crying at night is usually common behavior for babies, but this was more extreme. My parents were both sleep deprived, and the living room still reeked of something rotten, like a dead body. So I had to sleep in my sleep. buried under the room. damn. Somewhere. We couldn't stand being there anymore. So the next day, we asked a psychic for help. When she came into our house, she walked around with one of those aroma sticks. The smoke was grayish white as she walked from room to room. But as soon as she entered the living room, yellow, it turned black. Right. Oh, shit. she then started reading some prayers and spells and told us that someone was killed in this apartment. She also said that the ghosts were feeling uncomfortable with our presence, and they especially didn't like kids. Then she pointed at me and my baby brother. After she left our home, we were all terrified. So my parents called the person who we rented the apartment from and confronted him about what we just learned. To our surprise, he confessed yeah. that it was true and apologized for giving us that haunted apartment for a very cheap price. After the See, that was fucked up. How do you want to disclose that information? That. See, you know what I mean? I probably would have sued his dumb ass. That's fucked up. But we moved out, and the paranormal activity was not experienced again. Good. However, this memory gives me chills up to this day. Uh, 
that was a little short little video. See, I would have cursed that landlord out because you know that shit happened there and you did nothing about it. That's a <laughs> messed up thing to do. But and I, I don't know. I don't know if it's real. That's a real story or not. It sounds kind of fabricated, but but I do believe in like ghosts and stuff like that. I don't know, but I, I think I have one more of these videos to react to, and I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.